I have a twilight low voltage timer that I use for the lights in the front of the house and uh, it used to have a motion sensor attached to it and that broke and I threw it away. Um, but I got to thinking that I have some other motion sensors around the house and uh, they're really cheap. You can get them on eBay for just a, a buck or two. So I thought I'd see whether or not they could work. So here's the port on the bottom of the transformer and, and I think this is the original cable. Uh, I had just trimmed it off. And so now I'm going to uh, probe it. So y y here's the black wire. You'd assume that would be ground and the red wire, which you uh, would assume would be power. And then this is the trigger wire, the, the output of the motion sensor. Interestingly enough, uh, the black and the red are reversed. So I'm getting minus 15 volts. So this of course means that uh, red in this case is ground and uh, the black is indeed uh, power. So here's a good image of both sides of that PIR motion sensor. And these are the three pins that are meaningful to us. There's a uh, power or VCC, um, ground, and then uh, the out signal, the trigger signal. So from the data sheet, I know that that out signal produces an output voltage of about 3.3 volts. And so I thought I'd just experiment here with a battery and see if three volts, you know, two double A's could trigger the, uh, the, the timer uh, relay. And here you can hear the clicking, which means that indeed that three volts is uh, causing the lights to flicker. So now it's time to go back to the bench. So I set up my uh, DC power supply to 15 volts to power the motion sensor and drive that VCC in ground with 15 volts. And then uh, just kind of make sure that indeed it can trigger on motion. So here's the wiring, uh, just of those three signals on the sensor. And then here's me just trying to trigger it with uh, you know, just a quick wave of the hand in front of the sensor. And indeed you see the, uh, the output will trigger. Okay, so then the moment of truth to actually wire up the sensor to the uh, low voltage transformer. And uh, you hear the little ticking sound there. And uh, that is indeed the relay inside the, the transformer triggering. So I just made a crude little wooden box uh, for this. I thought I'd try it out uh, before I committed to making a nicer one. Um, but, you know, I painted it and I'll put a little glue around the edges just to make sure it's reasonably watertight and put some tape over it. And then I'll install it outside. So it looks a little funky, but uh, it works. And uh, it's been working for a couple of weeks, so I'm going to call this a success.